If you didn't know, you can actually create a consistent AI influencer using Nano Banana, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in today's video. So if you also want to learn how to do this, make sure you watch until the end so you don't miss any important steps that could affect your result. By the way, everything I'll be sharing in this video is completely free, so please do me a favor, like this video as a small thank you. Now, instead of using the usual method of accessing Nano Banana through Google AI Studio, we'll be using Whisk AI for this process. That's where you'll get to see the integration of Nano Banana directly inside Whisk AI. To begin, go to the link in the description that takes you to the Whisk AI website. Click the link, sign up using your Gmail account, and you'll instantly get access. Once you're in, click Create a New Project. This is your main workspace the place where you'll add your prompts, change aspect ratios, and lock seed. Below, under the Precise Reference section, you'll see the Google Nano Banana logo, which confirms that Nano Banana is integrated inside Whisk AI. Make sure Precise Reference is turned on, because that's what allows you to create consistent AI characters or image. If it's turned off, the results will be more creative, meaning they won't stay consistent. Next, open the left panel, as we'll be using this section a lot. Here, you'll see options for subject, scene, and style. For now, we'll focus on the subject section. This is where you'll upload your base image, which can be a photo of yourself or a character you've generated using any AI image generator. Just make sure you own the rights to that photo. If you don't already have a base image, you can use ChatGPT to help you generate a prompt for creating one. Simply describe what kind of image you want. For example, a female or male AI influencer. And specify features like hair color, hair length, eye color, and any other details. ChatGPT will then generate a ready-to-use prompt for you to create that base image. You can use any AI image generator to create it. For instance, Leonardo. AI works perfectly for this. In my case, I already have a base image prepared, and that's the one I'll be using to guide you step-by-step step as we create our AI influencer. Now, move on to adding your prompt. This is where you'll describe the clothing, scene, and pose for your AI influencer. If you need help crafting the perfect prompt, you can again ask ChatGPT to generate one for you. Just describe what you want, and it will create a detailed prompt you can paste into Whisk AI. I already have my prompts ready for this video, so I'll paste one here. Next, choose your aspect ratio, either square or portrait. I'll use the square ratio, but you can go with portrait depending on your needs. After that, click the arrow icon to start generating your images. For each generation, Whisk AI will create two images for you to choose from. You can pick the one you like best, or even keep both if they look consistent. Here are the results from the first generation. As you can see, they already look like images of the same consistent AI character. Let's download them and take a closer look. They look great so far, consistent and realistic, but we still need to test more rounds to confirm the consistency. Before generating the next batch of images, make sure to lock the seed. Click on the seed number to lock it and note it down in your notepad, notebook, or even take a photo of it. That way, you can use it later to regenerate the same character with different looks. Now, go back to your prompt and update the clothing, scene, and pose to create a different set of images for the same AI influencer. Let's see what results we get from this second round of generation. And these are the images we've gotten from the second round of generation. The images look consistent in this second round. Now let's go ahead and generate the third round of images and see if we'll continue getting a consistent person or character. Here are the results from the third round. Now to just let you know, in some cases, you might generate images that end up looking like a completely different person. For example, when I went ahead and tried the fourth round, the results didn't look consistent at all. The images looked like a totally new person. If this happens, don't worry. Simply delete any images that don't look consistent with your AI influencer, move to the next prompt, and continue generating new ones. This is perfectly normal and can occasionally happen when creating an AI influencer using this method. Now let's try one last round and see what we get. Here are the images from the final round. And as you can see, they're consistent. Let me download and bring them closer so you can see the details. They clearly look like the same person. For this last round, I slightly adjusted the prompt by removing the shoes part. I noticed that including shoes in the prompt sometimes makes the person appear shorter than they should. By removing that part, the generated images now look more natural, with the character appearing taller and more proportionate.
And that's how you can successfully create your consistent AI influencer. You can go ahead and try this method yourself. The best part is that Whisk AI can be accessed for free, so you can generate and experiment with these images at no cost. Another amazing feature you might not know about Whisk AI is that, since Nano Banana is integrated within it, you can also edit or add new details to the images you've already generated. For example, let's say you want to add a few people in the background of your image. You can simply delete your previous prompt and type something like, add a few people in the background, then click generate, and Whisk AI will do exactly what you request. Here are the results. As you can see, it has added people in the background, making the image look even more realistic, like a natural photo taken in a real setting, maybe somewhere like a parking lot. And what's impressive is that it didn't interfere with our main character. Her pose, clothing, and face remain exactly the same. Now let's try one more edit. This time, I'll ask Whisk AI to add another lady holding a drink and posing cutely for the photo. Let's see what it comes up with. And here are the results. Honestly, I'm amazed. The image looks incredibly realistic. You might even think both people were actually in the photo from the start. The added lady blends perfectly, and again, our main AI influencer hasn't changed at all. Her appearance, outfit, and pose all remain consistent. Here's the before image, without the extra person, and the after image, with the added lady. You can see the difference. The result looks natural, vibrant, and photorealistic. So that's how you can edit, add, or remove details in your AI-generated images directly inside Whisk AI. I'm really happy with the results I've gotten here, and I highly recommend you try it out yourself. You can push your creativity further by adjusting prompts, refining scenes, and enhancing your images even more. I hope this video has opened your eyes and shown you exactly how to create your own AI influencer using Nano Banana, completely for free. You'll find all the links to the tools I mentioned in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and thank you so much for watching and sticking around until the end. I really appreciate your support. Comment below and let me know what you think. Did Whisk AI and Nano Banana do a good job in this tutorial? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.